Good morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the Stat Man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the Stat Room. We are going off in DFS tonight. But before I get into all of that, let me get into my positive word. And my word for this fine morning is lock. My positive word today will be about DFS. Lineup lock. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I hated it up until one of my sharks let me know why lock is so important to have lineup lock. All right. FanDuel and DraftKings created the lineup lock contest. The prize pools are smaller, but DraftKings and FanDuel make the majority of their money on the big pools. Now, imagine if you create 50 lineups, right? You create 50 lineups, and one of your people put in, like, like tonight, somebody had, like 30% of the people had Tyreek Evans. Now, you got 50 lineups, and you got 40 that don't have Tyreek Evans. You're smiling because you just eliminated 30% of the field. So an unlimited entry GPP, they will never stop lineup lock. And now I understand why. So if you don't like lineup lock, you can either stop playing DraftKings and FanDuel because it's not going anywhere. Or you can play the lineup lock friendly contest. They have them on both sites. So those are your options. So lineup lock is for the sharks and people with a bunch of money. If you don't have a bunch of money, you're going to keep losing because this is going to happen to you two out of seven days on FanDuel and DraftKings. All right, I'm going to leave it there with lineup lock, guys. All right, so I created a lineup right now that I gave out to half of my subscribers. It was lineup number two for FanDuel. It's at a 311 with two um, guys still playing for the Celtics. I have Middleton, Covington, Antetokounmpo, Olenek, Johnson, and Zizek in that lineup. And if you check the numbers... We had 58 from Akinta Kumpo, Olenek and Johnson put up 50, Covington 30, Middleton put up 45, and Zizek. And then you got DeJounte Murray and Green. And that lineup is already 311 with two guys still playing. So it's going to probably end up with about a 330, 340. You're going to cash big with that lineup. All right. I have a DraftKings lineup that I gave out to half my people. And that one's at a 258. And Drummond hasn't played. Then the other one is at a 230, 232. And Drummond hasn't played. So both of them should do well. Drummond gets 40. It'll do well. All right. So that is that, guys. So before I get into f to the Four Horsemen, let me introduce myself, guys. I am Vaughn the Statman. You can follow me on Twitter at VaughnTheStatman.com. You can also check out my website, VaughnTheStatman.com. And Twitter, my apologies, is at Vaughn the Statman. My $40 top 20 list is still available. Guys. MLB starts in about a week and a half. All of this, the packages are available. I have the season deals that I'm doing right now for season VIPs and non-season deals. Those, you can go on the website and check it out. My um, website information will be in the description section of this video and in the comments section. All right, guys. So let me go right into the Four Horsemen. And tonight, a lot of people, they, um, they got burned because... Tyreek Evans was a scratch after lock. I think it was two minutes before tip. Like the game started at seven. They tipped normally at seven eleven. It was like seven on nine, and he said he's not gonna play. Memphis is in tank mode. I'm scared to play any of those guys. Um, so now I'll give you the four horsemen. I'm giving you point guard Rozier. He's only seventy five hundred. He dropped in price. Kyrie Irving has already been ruled out, so I like him in this matchup. Next, I'm giving you shooting guard Harden. He's going to get up for this matchup against the Blazers. He, he's going to want to end their 11-game win streak. Next, I'm giving you small forward Prince. He is, he's like, we all we got. We all we need. He's all that Atlanta has, so 7,700, I, I think he gets 35 to 40 points. Next, I'm giving you power forward Bender. He's going to be playing against Detroit. They're going to be on the second night of a back-to-back. He's $4,000. He's playing at least 27 minutes. And Blake is going to guard him. Blake doesn't guard the three position well, the three ball well. So Bender might get off six or seven three point attempts. He make two or three, get a couple of rebounds, a couple of assists. He'll get you 20 points. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. I am on to today. So, guys, don't forget to win win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And, guys, don't forget to thank and ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. And guys, if you hate lineup lock, you can either quit DraftKings, 
quit FanDuel or play the lineup lock friendly contest.